Welcome to Senior Showcase. Sarah Owen from Community Connection 211 and I, Jane Colbert, Age Friendly Coordinator, are happy to present Who Can Help? Connecting You to Your Community. Sarah, tell us a little bit about Community Connection. Thanks, Jane. Uh, yeah, so I'm here uh, representing Community Connection. Uh, we are the 211 service provider for Central East Ontario. Um, and today I'd like to just give you a little overview of what we do um, and talk, talk about a tool that Jane and I have been working on. So Age Friendly Peterborough and 211, we've collaborated to build a tool to help support seniors in Peterborough County. Uh, but first I'm gonna start with a little background on what my organization does. Okay, so slide two. So I work for Community Connection. Uh, we are an information and referral uh, organization that's been serving the South Georgian Bay area over in Simcoe County since 1969. We are a nonprofit corporation and a registered charity, and we are one of six 211 service providers in Ontario, and we serve the Central East region. What is the Central East region? <laughs> well, here it is on a map. Uh, it's uh, not by any sort of standard classifications of an Ontario breakdown, but we serve all the areas in green here. Um, and together with the other five call centers, we field every phone call that comes into the 211 line in Ontario through a virtual integrated call system. If you haven't heard of 211 before, we are a public utility. Well, the phone number is considered a public utility, similar to 911 but we are a non-emergency helpline for essential social services, community organization, health and government programs, <coughs> sorry, programs available in Ontario. So what is 211? We are a very easy to remember phone number. We're available 24 seven. We offer bilingual services and also on-demand interpretation services in over 150 different languages. We have multiple access uh, points um, in addition to our phone number. You can find all of our data online uh, with search options available for uh, navigation um, online. <laughs> we can be accessed through email, text, and chat. We have no geographical boundaries uh, in Ontario. We are confidential and we are a public utility. But what is 211? Um, we are a comprehensive and reliable source of information on government and community-based health and social services. And we really just are here to help people navigate the complexity of the network of human services um, in a really quick and easy way, 24 seven and in multiple different languages. Who is 2101 for? Uh, primarily, we are here to support uh, people. All Canadians that need help, well, we're not fully serving uh, the entire, um, all provinces in Canada yet, but we are working towards it. Um, but we are just here to support people who experience any types of barriers to accessing social services um, and navigating, navigating the complexity of the human services field. We also work with other agencies and frontline workers to help them support their clients. So we can do that utilizing the tools that we currently have, or we can develop partnerships um, that work out unique ways to help our partner organizations serve the community. And our work with Age Friendly Peterborough is one great example of that. We also can help with planning and decision-making by sharing the data that we collect on the types of services we are sharing and supporting the community with. And that can really help um, with social services planning. A, um, talking about partnerships, we just here at Community Connection as one service provider in Ontario have over 100 different partnerships across many different uh, service systems. This chart just sort of shows the area of partnerships. So primary care, social determinants of health are our biggest function. So we like to say that most of our work is focused on supporting vulnerable populations and those impacted by the social determinants of health. So 211 really is just a front door to all services, all sectors, all systems, and it's for all people. Uh, the people that answer our phone lines and our ch uh, chat and text services are certified community navigators. And I think that's important to know. Uh, they receive a lot of training and have to pass exams to get this job. 
They are trained to assess inquirers' problems, needs, explain options, and provide the appropriate referrals. We are also here to navigate, uh, sorry, to advocate on behalf of people who uh, ex experience barriers to accessing services. And we conduct follow-up in situations where someone is at immediate risk or is considered vulnerable. Uh, we, we like to, to help to prepare and assess to meet the immediate short-term needs of inquirers who are at crisis also. And here's just a little list of all the different types of training that our staff are involved in. Um, the first one being kind of important crisis intervention, suicide intervention, and mental health first aid. Um, in case people do call us in crisis, we can help support them and get them transferred to um, mental health counselors in their area. So the next few slides just give a little overview of call examples. Who are the people that call us? What are the types of things that we're, we're helping people with? So this woman is showing her hydro disconnection bill. Uh, she's tried for a, a program called LEAP. Oh, one sec. Uh, so my slides are going crazy, just one second. <laughs> um, yes, so utility assistance, that's something that we help with. The next one is just somebody looking for a phone number. Um, that's absolutely fine too. You can just say, hey, I need a, the library's phone number and we'll provide you that, no problem. This is an example of somebody calling on behalf of their father who needs dental assistance and doesn't, maybe cannot pay for that. Um, and the last one here, I don't know why these are filtering through so fast, but I am a senior citizen and I am lonely. Is there anything that you can connect me with? Okay. So those are examples, sorry, my presentation was, I think, running through those a bit fast. So the next slide that I'm going to show you is a snapshot of the types of uh, inquiries that we responded to in Peterborough County in 2020. So in 2020, we received 2,566 contacts from people living in the county, uh, which was a 44% increase from the previous year. Those people were provided with uh, 2,211 referrals. And the most commonly presented need amongst the people that contacted us was for support um, with mental health and addictions services. And as you can see from this graph of municipalities, most commonly our calls are coming right from the city of Peterborough. And now, uh, I'd like to show you the partnership that we have created with Age Friendly Peterborough. So here is just a little snapshot of the senior services directory. So uh, this came about through a conversations with Age Friendly Peterborough. They wanted to be able to have a website to support seniors in their area and help, help them to navigate and find services available to them in their area. So we used our database, our existing database of 211 community services and tried to build a site that was easy to navigate to help support people in the region. So now I'm gonna stop the sh show, stop my slideshow and uh, go over to the website to give a little overview of how it works. So just bear with me for a second. Okay, Jane, can you see the our website now? Um, I'm not sure if it's a slide or the website, but I do uh, see. Can you mm -hmm. see my mouse move? Peterborough Senior Yes, I can. Services. Okay, great. Yes, I can. <laughs> so here is the site. Uh, we have not launched it yet, so um, I can't give you the exact place to find it, but it will be, be being um, added to the age friendly Peterborough's website. So I'll let Jane talk about that in our next section. But here is the site. Um, along the top bar, we are giving different ways that we can support people. So if you can't find what you need um, through the website, you can request a call. Of course, you can always call 211. You can do the live chat or you can email us your question and that will be responded to by our certified community navigators within three to five business days. But the primary function of this is to enable an easy way to search through 
the multitudes of community services available in the Peterborough region. So you can do a keyword search um, and select the community that you live in, or you can use um, these really handy topic areas that we've created. So again, you can combine the topic area search with where you live. So if you can look for the entire county, or you can search what region you live in. So maybe I live in North Kawartha and I would like to find some information on financial services. And one that we discussed was utility assistance. So I could try that. And then I will receive a list of the organizations uh, that are available serving my area that will help me pay my utility bill if I'm behind. And each one of these, I can click on and see the full details of the organization, give a description of the service that that organization provides, all of the details as to where they're located, the area that they serve, who is eligible, and how you can apply for that service. So there's many ways that the site can be used. Go back to the main page. But we hope that these um, categories can be of real help to navigate the system. And if we we're also available and open to feedback from the community, if there's any um, categories that are missing, and we can continuously update this site in hopes that it will be relevant and useful to the community. Jane? It looks fantastic and we can't wait until it is launched. So I will I'll be doing a communication release once, uh, once it is available um, to the community. Now, I was going to start uh, my part of the presentation just telling you a little bit about um, what is age-friendly Peterborough and even what is age-friendly um, and then tell you about some of the ways that we are um, connecting people to community uh, services and programs. So Age Friendly Peterborough is a collaboration and we work together uh, to ensure that older adults basic needs are met, uh, they can stay mobile and get around the community, they have opportunities to build relationships and uh, they are able to continue to uh, learn and contribute. So we thrive for Peterborough to be a region that's inclusive, respectful, and accessible to people of all ages. Um, so as our population ages, the structures and services in our community, they need to be adapted to ensure older adults to, can continue to um, have happy, happy, healthy, active lives. And age-friendly communities recognize older adults as an asset and uh, we provide programs and services that enable everyone to do the things that they value for as long as possible. So age-friendly Peterborough helps older adults make all that happen. Uh, we have a community action plan and that was supported by the city of Peterborough, uh, the county of Peterborough, all eight uh, townships and uh, both First Nations. Uh, AFP, we're, we're also, Age-Friendly Peterborough is also known as AFP. Um, we're an advisory committee to council, and that's called AFPAC. And we provide a strategic direction for implementing the four goals that are outlined in the plan, and we have 146 actions. Um, we have working groups with four working groups and uh, task forces. And currently we're working on 17 projects. The greater Peterborough area, um, we have lots of programs and services, but we've found when, when talking to um, older adults, they often don't know about them. So Age-Friendly Peterborough is promoting awareness um, by communi communicating in uh, a variety of different ways. And some examples of that, um, one is in print. So at the onset of COVID, uh, we produced a newsletter. Um, it, it 
it uh, contained information and had a service directory of uh, programs and services that were available at the onset of, of COVID. Um, that's still posted on our, our webpage uh, now, so if you wanted to have a look at that. Um, we also tried to do other uh, other promotion in print because we know that not everyone utilizes a technology or has a computer. Um, so another way we try to reach people who, who don't have a computer is by phone. Um, we just recently launched a program called Senior Centre Without Walls and it's in partnership with Activity Haven, although you don't have to be a, a member to participate, but it's a telephone program. So um, older adults can call in and they can participate in um, education, physical, wellness, social activities. Um, we have we just launched in, in May and uh, we've we have the May and June calendar available on the uh, Activity Haven webpage. Um, there's also a trifold brochure that explains more about uh, the program um, and activity descriptions. So we will be we're already planning July and August and we will be releasing calendars every two months. Um, for those people who do um, use technology, and um, most people like to have a, 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 a place that they can go to get all the information that they need, and, and our age-friendly Peterborough uh, webpage is, um, we're doing, we're going to be doing that. We're working behind the scenes right now. Um, our website is on the City of Peterborough website. Um, and that uh, we're working on updating it and it will be available uh, very soon. Emails, um, if you like to get information by emails, you can ask to be included on the uh, um, Friends of Age Friendly Peterborough email list. Um, I send out regular emails that provides information about programs, services, and events. Um, it's also good to have my email uh, so that if you do have a question, then you can email me and I can connect you with uh, programs and services and also let others know that it's available. We do events. Um, so events like the, the Senior Showcase um, in partnership with the Chamber of Commerce. Um, and we do an annual Summit on Aging, and that is this year being um, in partnership with Community Care. Uh, it's being held virtually on October 28th. Um, and another workshop series we do is called uh, Living and Aging Well. And unfortunately, due to COVID, that one has been put on hold. But if you can uh, watch more of the, the workshop videos, um, participate in the trade show uh, by, by looking at what programs and services are available to seniors, this is a great way to get information. Another way is through the community. Um, at the onset of the pandemic, we launched a program called uh, Neighbor for Neighbor. And the concept is, it was uh, it was launched when we were appealing to um, community and neighbors to help seniors with, for example, grocery shopping. But we created a ready to help card that's posted on our webpage, and it has your contact information and how you can help a senior in your neighborhood. Um, and, and the cards are still available, and so you can print that off and provide that to, to somebody. Um, we ask people to hold on to it because maybe they don't need the information now, but they may need to call you soon. Um, and we appeal to neighborhoods and communities to share what they know and how they can help others. And the last way is through our age-friendly Peterborough ambassadors. Um, we recruit volunteers who can help us 
um, make the greater Peterborough area more age friendly. Um, they can inform projects. We do a survey with our ambassadors. There's focus groups um, and we ask our ambassadors to share information with the community. So um, as you heard, uh, we support and promote 211. So if uh, you're looking for information, um, we, we did a health and housing navigation study where we identified all sorts of uh, programs and services uh, to promote healthy aging as well as housing options. Um, so we uh, inform people to call 211 to be able to uh, get that information or um, as Sarah mentioned, go on our new webpage at where you'll be able to access, access that um, on the webpage. So we thank you um, for uh, participating in the Seniors Showcase. If you are looking for more information uh, you can contact Age Friendly Peterborough. Our website is www.peterborough.ca slash aging, and we hope you visit us soon.